Howdy there. We're on day two of our fermenting series. And this is the one where I'm going to teach you all about the benefits of eating fermented foods. Because does this statistic kind of blow your mind a little? It did for me. 80% of your immune system sits in your gut. So if you aren't putting in these good guys, think your um, probiotics, think your carrots, think your sauerkraut, think your kombuchas, then you are not having enough army in there to just fill it with the good guys. Because when it's full, that army of the good guys, it's pushing the bad ones out. And those are the bad bacteria which are in our gut that can wreak havoc for us. It means that we can pick up colds more. It means that we can get more sniffles. It means that we grow things like candida, which is just havoc for us. So it's so imperative that we are consistently putting in those amazing um, bugs into our belly. And it's an easy way to do it is these fermented foods. Now, fermented foods have been around for thousands and thousands of years. Even Captain Cook came out with sauerkraut to stop the scurvy on his um, ship. Pretty cool, hey? It has been used too for thousands of years as a way to preserve the nutrients that are in your fresh foods because that's a benefit. And you're going to get, you know, so many benefits hearing um, here today of, of what is so good about fermenting is when you are eating these foods, you are putting in more fiber into your diet. Those fermented carrots actually increase the vitamin C that is in them. Now you actually are doing that with vitamin K as well and a few other really important um, vitamins that are in our diet when you ferment these things. It also is brilliant fermented foods if you're having any issues with your digestion because it helps us digest our food better, which is why those gorgeous Germans, when they're eating their pork knuckles, they usually have a few spoonfuls of sauerkraut on the side. I don't want this fermenting world to overwhelm you. It really isn't tricky. And my job is to make this simpler for you. It's really just about making little tweaks of what you're having now. So things like your breads, right? Can you tweak that to be a sourdough? The benefit of that is that when you're eating a sourdough, you're not putting yeast into your body because that's typically what the bread has in it in order to make it rise. When you're using a sourdough, it uses the natural fermentation method to help rise that bread, which is just heaven. It means that you can digest the grains easier. You can tweak as well some of the drinks that you're having. Kombucha is a really easy one to get the kids over the line on. And I hope that you used some of that yesterday. Give them a little shot glass of the version that you bought and see what they think about it. All you're trying to do here is like what you do when you're putting food on the table of having a varying range of vegetables and proteins and carbohydrates and all those things is exactly what you want to be doing with your ferments. Now, I would love for you to want to, you know, come and try a few of these. The other thing that's really great about fermented foods and the thing that I love and, and really why I got into it at the start, um, having IBS and polycystic is I was trying to come off my reliance on sugar. And the great thing is, is that you can actually use some of these fermentation techniques like this. And this is peaches. They'll be done in 12 hours, maybe 24. All I've done is fermented them with a little bit of a starter and the food source for that amazing probiotic bacteria that's in there now is the sugars out of those peaches. They'll go to town and they will eat them up. They'll leave me with a texture that's a little similar, slightly softer and incredibly fizzy. I love them. It actually takes me back to my childhood when I used to love eating tinned peaches. <laughs> but the great thing is, is then the sugar is all stripped out. So if you are looking to boost your immune system, to remove inflammation out of your diet that's showing up, maybe it's with some little bit of red skin or dryness, 
bit of that brain fog, a bit of bloating, then these foods could be what you are after. Just think, whenever you're eating it, it means that you are going to be able to digest your food better, absorb the goodness in it, up the nutrients of whatever it is in there that you are eating, and that is going to keep the cold at bay. If you want to learn more of this and if this sort of stuff is starting to excite you, I do have the full course, so you can join that below. Um, and I'll be taking you through a range of, you know, how to make these, even how to turn some of this kefir that you make in 10 seconds into fermented orange juice. Oh, yeah, for the kids. Um, yeah, you can join that below. So here's what we're going to be making. Kombuchas, sourdoughs, yogurts, more gummies, fermented fruits, and my very favorite ferment in the whole wide, wide, wide world, coconut water kefir. Oh my God, it's so good for fermenting other things with. We'll also make a gluten-free sourdough, some cashew cheese, lots of different sauerkrauts, a bunch of kefirs that you can hide in any of the kids' cereals, and even tomato sauce. It's going to look so similar, this course, to how it is running here for you. There's going to be a portal, a great Facebook group, and a video for every recipe with step-by-step -step photos to show you exactly how to make it. But jump on over now into our Facebook group. And I'm really interested to see how did the gummies go and snap a little photo of your carrots. Have you opened them up yet? Or are you starting to get, and this one I've just shaken up a little bit, but are you starting to get a whole heap of, let me show you this one, bubbles at the top. See there? It's gone a little bit cloudier too. And I dare say, I open this one up. Oh, Woo! look at that. This may be already what's happening for you. This can take anywhere from 12 hours to about three days. Definitely in summer, which it is here in Sydney, it's a little bit quicker. But yeah, see how they are. Of course, once these carrots are done, they just go straight into the fridge. Keep them in the liquid. And if you can afterwards, drink that liquid. I know it sounds weird, but it's absolutely delicious. All right, snap that photo and get on over into the Facebook group and show us what it is. And tell me too, is there a ferment that you reckon you want to try and bring into your everyday diet because that's the key there is it's just making that little small tweak that every single day you're starting to put this good bacteria in because over time it's going to pay off less hospital visits shinier skin stronger hair good nails and less sniffles Alrighty, see you on day three